I've been a gamer my whole life, but there have been those titles that I've missed out on over the years, and some of which that I'd like to revisit. Follow me as I go block to the future. What's up guys? Scott from Second Blocks. Welcome back to another Block to the Future. This time around we are looking at crazy creatures. I have no idea what this game is all about. Uh, I've had it for a little bit. Um, it's made by American Video Entertainment, so it's one of those wonky carts. One of those odd man out. Not officially licensed, uh, I believe. So, yeah, let's check it out. I have no idea what to expect <laughs> on the screen. I see start stuff, so, uh, special thanks to Steve Woida, Susan Lazinger, and Richard Frick. So, let's blow my frickin' mind, Richard. So, start stuff. Oh, we're gonna eat the letters. <laughs> All right, game type one player, easy, level select, and press start, okay? Simple enough. Is this a puzzle game, or? Get three animals in a row to make, okay, so it's, it's a match three. Oh, okay, I see. It's a match three. Ah, I get it. Kind of like Tetris in the way that I think your screen will fill up. And you have a time limit to get all of them. I see that. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Oh, so, basically a puzzle game. I had no idea what this game was about, guys, so, uh, um, okay. Whatever that was. Points, maybe? Hint number one, press the A button twice on top, and that was way too quick. That worked out in my favor, that was pretty cool. Okay, so we didn't get all of those that time. Pretty straightforward type of puzzle game, nothing too excited so far. But we'll keep going just in case. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> wow. So later down the road, they just keep tossing stuff in your way. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is funny. It is more intense than I thought, so it's not just a typical puzzler. Like, that time limit is a bugger, because you gotta... There's obviously a strategy, <clears throat> because as you can see, that it's more than just a match three line. Like, the bigger line you can make that's already ex with an existing line, like up there with pink elephants or whatever the heck it is. Get you a better line. And we are not going to clear this one either. Ooh, man. <laughs> very interesting. Very, very interesting concept for a, for a uh, puzzle game. Like I said, I've had this game for a while. I had no idea because I'm the type of person that, like, especially with retro games, I just, I, like, I like to collect them and pick them up, and I like to go in blind and not know a thing about them. So, I didn't look anything up beforehand, and I had no, no idea what to expect. I was actually thinking this was some kind of, like, random, like, puzzler, or, or uh, platformer, I'm sorry. I had no idea what to expect. Yeah, I like that. That's a better line there. Uh, 
Not doing so hot. I'm sure there's a way to get better at this and master it. I'm just not the person for that. <laughs> Quite interesting, though. Super weird puzzle game. Like I said um, in the beginning of the video, it's made by American Video Entertainment. It's one of those really wonky carts. Um, it's a black cart. <clears throat> it gives you special directions. So oh, wow, this is different. Very interesting. <clears throat> As you can see that we change from animals to teeth and happy faces. <laughs> yeah, this definitely, definitely is not a um, Nintendo licensed game by any means. There's no way. Kinda cheaply made. Well, not cheaply made. I mean, a very well made um, puzzle game, but like you can see, Nintendo would not have released something like this. There we go, there's a good line. Listen to me, I sound like I'm a coquette or something. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, um, not much to it other than, you know, basically matching your, uh, your little characters or pictures together to clear out a line and keep going. As you can see, like here, you can't move, um, with those lines. You can't move the, you can't clear the lines if you have, like, this, see how that, um, they're adding the pink in the center and making kind of like a maze. You actually got to go around it, you can't go through it, so that adds obstacles to what you're doing. So that's a pretty neat challenge. But all in all, it's a pretty straightforward type puzzle game, nothing special. Um, just pretty much a cool novelty to have if you are a Nintendo fan. So uh, yeah, I think I'm going to stop there. Um, it's been a really awesome episode, thanks for tuning in. You guys know the drill, thanks for watching, stay awesome. <laughs>